Hey sleepyhead, get up. We gotta take some pictures, we gotta do poster polls, we gotta get some salt and pepper shakers out for someone. All right, come on, let's go. Hey, what's going on everyone? Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter here. We are starting off today's video with a very special shout out and a very special subscriber of the day. We're gonna give this one to a dog. That's right, we have dog followers of the channel, and this is gonna go to the dog of my main man, uh, Troy from Mountain Man Treasures. The dog's name is Jaeger, and the reason why I'm shouting out Jaeger, first of all, we just wanna calm him down a little bit. He gets a little bit excited, he gets a little bit rambunctious, and so for that reason, uh, Troy picked up some of these uh, calming uh, soft chews, and I had uh, shown you these in the prior two uh, videos. Uh, Troy picked up uh, three bags, so whenever they go out, uh, you know, Jaeger gets a little bit nervous. So, you know, we're trying to do our part here. You know, we're very dog friendly here at the channel uh, to help out, and uh, you know, this will definitely do it. There's 60 per bag, and so, uh, oh no, 50 per bag. So, 50 tender bites per bag, and uh, hopefully that helps him out. So, uh, let us know, Troy, in the comments uh, how he does with the sauce. Off chews. Uh, I've got a bunch uh, left down here, so I'm just blowing them out. You can see they had $21.99 uh, sticker price. So I've got them up at the site at $11.99, but people are making offers for $10 and I'm just taking them. So um, if you want them, there's still some left. All right, lots of color in this picture. Special thanks to Kimberly from the YouTube channel. Uh, she picked up the last one of these Wonder Woman prints for $19.99. That includes shipping. Uh, the ones you see behind me are the ones that I have left at this point. Uh, some of them, there's multiples, but some of them, there's only one left. I am very surprised that no one has picked up that All-Star Comics one. I personally think that's the best one, has all those different characters on it. My second favorite one would be the Aquaman one, and then um, I love the Wonder Woman ones uh, as well. But uh, just letting you know what else is available. If you're interested, just let me know in the comments or send me a message. Right now, I am only going to sell them as an exclusive to people who are following right here in the YouTube channel. All right, we've got to head back into the shed. There was a request that came in from Felicia Thompson. She saw me going through the box of salt and pepper shakers, and at the very bottom in this one corner, she saw some salt and pepper shakers that looked like football players. And she is correct, they are football players, and she was wondering if they had North Carolina Tar Heel blue colors, and they do. Uh, the question is, are they North Carolina Tar Heel football players, uh, or is it just a color? So I'm going to pull these out, and we'll take a look. Now, they're dirty, but I'm going to clean them up, and let's see. Well, you know, you could imagine them to be whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't say uh, North Carolina Tar Heels on them, but, uh, you know, it's up to uh, Felicia if that's interesting enough to her. I'm just going to... Uh, clean these up and get them nice and shiny and uh, hit my head on the top here and uh, sorry, you don't know how many times i hit my head at a state sales which is why i have to wear uh, a hat when i go down the stairs because you know being so tall uh six foot six it's crazy these houses weren't built for me this shed right here i could get under here but like bare like look at that like i just have to like slightly duck a little bit so but anyway uh this is the pepper one so uh it doesn't look like there's uh, any damage to them so they just need to be dusted off i'll show you a cleaner version uh before i post them and as usual if any of you see one that you would like me to pick out let me know that uh, i like to just do that it's a little fun to have some uh, interaction on the channel so wow take a look at these they cleaned up really nicely and definitely north carolina tar heel blue color so uh, these really look good uh, i'm very happy with how these came out I will get these listed. Hopefully, uh, Felicia likes them. Uh, if not, I'm sure somebody else is going to like these. I mean, these are you know really nice vintage pieces and uh, a collector of football-related stuff and uh, definitely Tar Heels-related stuff would uh, be in the market for this. Okay, now this is a little photography tip that has to deal with shadows, and it's real important, especially if you're trying to get a white background. These shadows right here are gonna be very disruptive. Even if you're using a white background program, the problem is it's going to capture these shadows and they're going to be a very time consuming to try to eliminate. So we really wanna to try to reduce 
as many shadows as we can when we take that initial picture. Now you might be very comfortable and you're taking your pictures and stuff and you don't wanna move and you keep you know, moving these around in all different directions and stuff, but you're still gonna have the same problem just because of where you're sitting and the light angle that's coming off of it. So sometimes what you actually have to do is you have to get up and you have to walk to a different area and just Put the shakers over here like this and now look at that now you don't have any significant shadows to deal with yeah there's something light right there it's so light that that will easily get knocked out by any white background program so remember sometimes just actually get up and move and reposition it that way and that will solve your shadow problem all right so we have two poster pull requests that came in the first one came from Avona over in Latvia, and the second one came from Noreen. So let's see what they picked out here uh, from the poster box. So Avona wanted this one here, and I think a lot of uh, people are going to enjoy this, especially uh, a lot of my uh, guy toy collectors, because she picked out Transformers Megatron. So uh, that is going to be popular, I think. And then the next one uh, will also, I think, appeal to a broad audience because Noreen, uh, she said Daisy would like this one. So uh, Snow White. So we'll have to see what's on, on that one. Uh, so let's get these two out of the wrapping and see what's inside of them. All right, well, here it is. And this did not disappoint. This poster is awesome. It's about 36 inches by 24 inches. It comes from 2002. As I said before, this is Megatron. Uh, he is the uh, main opponent of Optimus uh, Prime. He is the uh, leader of the Decepticons uh, in the Transformers series. And uh, this particular print really does not come along often. Uh, there hasn't been one up recently and there's not one up now. So I'm going to have to do some research to figure out a proper price on this. Uh, one thing to note though, is that you could see there are some uh, crinkles in the poster and that's just how it came right out of the plastic. That's an important lesson because sometimes people will just sell them as new uh, in the original plastic, yet there still could be some problems within, even if it was never open. This is why I like to just open them and display them because you know you could have somebody you know who's a real hardcore collector who would get it like this and then be upset about it and want to return it. Whereas if I have it displayed like this and could just disclose everything, um, you know, right at the outset, that's going to significantly reduce the chance that I have any issues. Really, um, it's really not that bad, but you know, what would really uh, help this, you know, for whoever purchases it is to just put this in a frame and it'll just flatten it out real nicely. I think I found the source of some of those crunching sounds. <laughs> like, leave me alone. All right, well, here's the Snow White one. I really like this one. Very bright, very colorful. Uh, there are two currently online, and it's interesting. There's a reason why you want to go and check out what your competition is doing and explore their pictures and don't always just go by what they say. So for example, there's one that's listed for $16 and it says excellent condition, no rips, nothing like that. But if you look at the bottom left corner, there's clearly a gouge out of the bottom uh, part of the poster. Uh, so that's definitely a problem. And the other thing is that the person uh, secured the poster down with weights. And that would scare me as you know, somebody who was thinking of buying the poster because that could cause scratches and stuff on the front of it. So uh, then the other person had one listed at $25 and it was in the original tube, uh, the plastic, and showed no pictures of what it looked like here. So I definitely have the best photos and I have it in uh, the best condition for something that I could actually show. So I'll probably price it somewhere between that 16 and $25 price tag. Well, 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 who do we have here? It's the Transformers poster print that I showed you earlier. And by doing a more detailed search on desktop, I was able to find somebody who is currently selling this. In fact, not just this person, but somebody else. And at first glance, it's a potential problem for me because 
this person is selling it for $9.97. I'll give you a bigger view of it uh, right over here. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that the business model that I use for my store is that I don't sell any items for less than $9.99. And that would factor in free shipping as this person is doing, free shipping. So uh, what do I do in this situation? Do I just say, forget it, I'm not going to list a poster? No. I want to give you some insights here in terms of how you could approach this situation if you are willing to just wait a little bit. And this is a situation that happens sometimes that is perfect for using this approach. So let's take a more detailed look. We see here that this person has sold 25 of these posters and only has one left. That's actually very good news for me. Why is that? Well, number one, it's telling me that this thing is in demand and it is selling. It doesn't necessarily tell me how fast it's selling, but it tells me that 25 of them is sold and that is pretty darn good. And by there only being one left, that's also good because that creates an additional sense of urgency to somebody who's gonna come across and purchase this. And I don't know this seller here, but you know, someone who was watching this, I'm gonna give this person a free plug, uh, go over and buy this person's uh, poster because I'm not listing mine for $9.97. Why is that? Because I know this is gonna sell quick. So someone's gonna buy this and then I'm gonna say to myself, all right, well, that one's gonna be gone what's the next one in price for this particular print? Well, it's this one over here. It's this person selling it for $19.99. So what I would do, knowing that I'm gonna have best offer on and I would be willing to accept, let's say $14.99 for it, I'll price it at $17.50 so that when this one sells, I will then have the one with the lowest price. Now, I also know in the back of my head that if it doesn't sell for $17.50 or $16.50 or $15.50 and so on and so forth, that eventually I could just cap it at $9.99 and eventually someone is going to buy it. Uh, so, you know, that's just one way of going about it. As long as you are able to just wait a little bit on it, then that is a situation that is perfect, again, uh, for that type of approach. So keep that in the back of your mind as a possible option uh, when it comes to pricing. All right, everyone, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you back at the next one. Take care.